Hello, hello, Websy Wongi again. Um, I'm going to do a short video, something that's been on my mind a lot. And I would say a few years now. Um, but if some of you don't know, I, I don't have children. And um, something came up, and I'm not trying to sound like I hate that it happened, but it kind of really got to me. So I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about, but I just wanted to explain how it's difficult and hard. And that is um, not having children. Um, <laughs> I was kind of debating to do this or not, but I wanted to do get it out there um, to anyone who knows what it's like <clears throat> to not have children. And... Um, I recently found out that I was not going to get Christmas money because I don't have children. And I don't want to sound like it, it didn't affect me at all, but it did because of the fact that I don't have children. And like for me, Christmas times, yeah, kids, kids need money and stuff, but like, Right now, it's it's difficult when you don't have a job, and I'm trying to get a job, but my biggest thing was when I heard that I'm not going to get money from my grandma for Christmas, it got to me because not the fact that everyone else was getting money, but the fact that I don't have children, so I felt punished. I felt left out. I felt like... Um, I pretty much feel like the black sheep of the family because I don't have what everyone else has. And to a point, I am thankful for being without children at times when I can have freedom, you know, just me and my boyfriend and stuff, but it still gets to me that I don't have the luxury of children. I don't know what it's like to take care of children. But I know what it's like to take care of my nieces and nephew, which is wonderful, and I miss it. Even if it's considering just changing a diaper. But I just wanted to say that, you know, going through childless is a very difficult thing. And to me, when I hear it or something that has to revolve around the topic, it really hits home to me. And like when I heard that I won't be getting money for Christmas for my grandma because I don't have children. I felt pretty much broken inside because it's like I'm being punished just because I don't have what everybody else has. And so there it is. That's pretty much my thing is. And it's like, and then another thing that went through my mind is what my ex used to tell me is, oh, I would admit I wouldn't make a good mother. And that still gets to me at times, but not as much. But when the whole thing was brought up to me, it really hurt me to my core, to my womanhood. <laughs> because I know what it's like not to have children. But those of you who have children, it's hard to really know what that's like. And how hard it's difficult to see everybody on Facebook have posts of their children and experiences of motherhood. But I don't get to experience that. Which is a blessing and, you know, a thorn in my side that I've always had to deal with. And who knows, maybe in the future I will have a child. But right now, financially, I'm not stable. So I'm just being responsible. You know, I'm not on any birth control. I mean, me and my boyfriend do things, but <sighs> it's just another topic. But, you know, nothing is keeping our love apart. You know, we're together. And sometimes we may not be on the same page, but hey, you know, we love each other. We genuinely do love each other. And... You know, to me, not to have children is kind of a pain sometimes because it's like, I want to experience with other people. And for the longest time growing up, when my siblings would have children, it would get to me. Because I'm like, even when I did get married, uh, 
the marriage that I was in, you know, that ended, I never got to experience that part. And that really hurts. So anyways, I'm not trying to get sympathy or attention from anyone. I'm just stating my worries in life and something that has been bugging me to talk about. And I'm just pretty much going to leave it there. Uh, but any of you who are going through that know what it's like not to have children. And I love my nieces and nephew, and I just wish this coming year I can see them. So have a good day.